Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to Medieval Kingdoms 1212 AD, the medieval mod for Total War Attila. Now, it has been a very long time since I've had a battle on this, and I think there's been a new version out uh, earlier this year, which I just haven't checked out, so I figured I must. And today we have the last stand of the Teutonic Order. So if you're happy to see this mod back, of course, let me know in the comments below if you want to see more, and leave a like! It's very helpful to the channel. So what we have today, I'm fighting against two opponents, uh, both, I'm, I'm ashamed to say, AI. Uh, we have the Duchy of Poland and the... Yeah, the Duchy of Lesser Poland, and I think it's the Kingdom of Lithuania as well. Uh, so here we have the Lithuanian troops, so some Ducal Axemen, uh, Moldav Mold Moldovian warriors, peasant archers, and then we also have lots of spearmen and other fearsome troops to send against me. The details in the units do look pretty sweet, and let's just take a little look at some of the Polish units. Uh, I was planning on doing a multiplayer match, but as per usual, um, it's quite difficult to find players in my time zone, and yeah, sometimes it's just easier for me to uh, play against the AI and do these large survival scenarios, because I am outnumbered over two to one, uh, we have the Polish king there leading his forces, so we have under 3,000, whereas they have 6,500 troops. Uh, a lot of theirs are around equal to mine in terms of quality, such as, the, uh, except those spear militia. Um, <laughs> Axemen. Then we also have some Baltic spearmen. And then they definitely do have some, and we have some more Moldovan warriors. Oh, these are the Lithuanian troops again. Okay, but as you can see, it's quite a spread of troops. I also have some mounted sergeants, and they do have the Grand Banner of Krakow in there somewhere. I'm not sure where they've got to. This might be it. The Grand Banner of Krakow. So there we go. That is the Polish heavy elite cav that we have for them. Uh, so my army consists of... We've got the Grand Master's Guard. The Grand Master of the Teutonic Order. Uh, so I've done this in kind of the 15th century style uh, units, or, the, or as the late period as the units as I could get, as this was kind of when the last battle of the Teutonic Order happened. I think it was the third Polish... Uh, Teuton War. Could be wrong. Uh, but I think that was in the 1450s. And we've got the Schwedbruder. Schwedbruder, Teutonic Sergeants, some Prussian archers, and then we have some Ritterbruder. And we also have a couple of units of catapults. Without further ado, let's get on with this survival battle. Hopefully, I've actually rendered this in 60 frames a second, so you get the gloriousness of, of um, 60 frames a second. Um, this is going to be fought live, so any mistakes you see will, of course, be here for you to see. So my spear line is actually only two deep. Two ranks deep is all we have. They are they have formed a shield wall, and we are confident of victory, it seems. That was quite that was quite impressive, chaps. That was quite impressive. Oh, we have three ranks deep here. So three ranks, sorry, three ranks deep in the centre. Good lord, I do, I do apologise about that. Uh, that was that was quite uncouth of me. My bad, my bad. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh dear. <laughs> uh, 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 <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to recover from this. Oh, uh, there we go. Uh, I don't need to. Uh, the flaming catapults going on in. Hopefully, going to hit a few of their. Oh yes, utter devastation. So the spear militia there lost quite a few, and so did the mounted sergeants, which is great. Um, any casualties that we inflict is obviously amazing. I think I'm going to set these to a heavy shot. Increases our base reload time, but we will have the advantage. Oh god, they're just coming straight at me. Please, please come straight at me. Come through my spear line cavalry. It'll make my day. Okay. So I should probably reposition my Ritterbruder over to that flank. Doesn't look like they're going to send too much cavalry on the left flank at the moment. And it looks like those... Oh yeah. Oh, some of them are already breaking. Fantastic. Mounted sergeants have lost over half their troops so far. The Grand Banner of Krakow taking some shots. Uh, the Peasant Archers are firing. However, their morale is quite low. So they're being supported. The Grand Banner of Krakow is actually being supported by two units of mounted sergeants from Poland. Okay. Do I dare try and hit them in the flank? I might as well try and hold them off. So let's go for it, actually. Up and at them, boys. Up and at them. Okay, so we're going to take out big clumps of their infantry there. Let's take it. Let's put this into slow-mo for a sec so we can kind of see what's happening. 
Uh, it, it appears Poland is really launching their assault with a lot of vigor here. So that's something to be wary of, for sure. For sure. And as they're hitting the lines, we'll have to see how long the Teutonic sergeants can hold. Oh god, the cavalry's charging right in. Ugh. I'm hoping they lost a few troops there. So most of our men are engaged. I should probably take this out. Okay. We do have two lines of troops, though. Our cavalry is actually getting surrounded at the moment. The Ritterbruder are taking down some mounted sergeants. And... The Grand Banner of Krakow appears to be holding. Well, let's send the other two units of Ritterbruder. Around. See what kind of a devastation we can wreak over there. Okay, so it appears... Oh my god, the spear line is in utter, utter tatters. I might send in the Teutonic Sergeants to assist. However, it doesn't look like they need it at the moment. Looks like they're doing okay. Oh, go, go around, go around. Please, go around. Target them. Yes, please. Target them. Yes, please. Target them. Okay. And we've got two units of Schriftbruder. Oh, oh yes. We've beaten back some of the Mounted Sergeants. Fantastic. But, okay, yeah, it's probably quite wise that I... Extend my flank here a little bit. My Ritterbruder are getting around their flank, which is awesome. If I can tear into their archers, they're going to have a tough, tough time. Looks like Polish, the Poland and Lithuania are attacking all together now. So let's check out how the spear line is holding. It's, I mean, it's not great, to be frank, is it? It's, it's looking pretty dire. We've got some catapults arcing off. I do think the units do look great. And I've actually got a a sunny Attila map somehow. How, however that happened, I have no idea, but I'm grateful for it. And looks like we've been headed off there by some armoured cavalry. You peasant archers can die. The Ritter Bruder is going to take on the armoured cavalry of the Lithuanian. So we're tracking the Lithuanian cav, and they are armoured. Yes, sir, uh, they are. God, oh my... Oh god, we're being about to be attacked by the Great Banner of Krakow. Pull out! Pull out! Ritterbruder, you're still holding here against the Armoured Cav and the Mounted Sergeants. And more Mounted Sergeants are charging on in. Ritterbruder is going to go in against the Grand Banner of Krakow. Okay. Okay. You keep attacking the archers, please. Yes. Right, what can we shoot at? Just keep firing. Looks like the Polish king is trying to get into the action here. How are we doing for numbers? Oh, yes, they've lost a thousand. Okay, the Grand Banner doesn't appear to be much of a threat anymore. Right, let's send the men at arms in against the... Oh, the Grand Duke. Let's try and take out the Grand Duke if we can. If we can, I think we shall. So I'm sending in Ritterbrud... Oh, Schrittbruder against the Lithuanian Grand Duke. God, it's been a while since I've had a decent battle on Total War. Like, I mean, like, decent medieval battle. I did have a very, very good battle on the uh, Civil War mod, American Civil War mod, with uh, Warrior Sparta um, on the weekend. So you'll be seeing that at some point on the channel. Um, but, I mean, just having a, having a really, really good medieval battle in this kind of size is freaking epic, you know? They almost look like they're pushing through the centre here, which isn't what we want to see. Not at all. Um. <laughs> Looks like the Grand Duke has sallied on off, so I won't need to pursue him just yet. Looks like the Polish King is now under a bit of pressure. It's like he's not committing himself just yet. But let's go in against those Axemen because they are, they appear to be taking down uh, my Men at Arms. Men at Arms should hold for a while though. Really impressive how run this engineer is run, uh, how well it's, the game is running actually. Except when I do that. Okay, that's when it gets a bit a little, a little bit tense.
try and attack the king. Yes, go on. Kind of a lame charge, but we'll, 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 we'll forgive them for that. Oh, take down the Grand Duke as well. Yes, go on. Charge into their flanky wanky. Okay, we've actually lost quite a lot of our uh, Ritter Bruder over here against the Armoured Cavalry, but I think that's fine, that's fine. We don't need to panic just yet. Fire. And let's actually bring the archers back. Okay, so the Grand Duke of Lithuania has been felled by the Ritter Bruder. Who? Oh god, my Ritter Brood had been routed. Mm. Let's get you in there. Let's get you in the flank. Still got more men to commit if I need to, but at the moment, it looks like my initial spear line is still managing to hold back the tide. I don't know what's going on with the, the lighting. Him. Yeah, the lighting can be very strange on this. Or the, the, the shadows, I should say. Okay. Enemy units have been rallied. It looks like we're close to taking down the Polish king as well, except, and their mounted sergeants. Warriors, Definitely come round here, sirs. Right. I need to commit everything we have to the battle now. My units are under a lot of pressure. We have routed quite a big clump. Oh god, don't you love it when a clump routes? Oh yes. We're in the middle of a chain reaction. Oh. No, that was just cringe, wasn't it? I can't sing. I don't know why I did. I'm sorry. I've been known to do karaoke from time to time. Oh yes, look at this. Look at this. Last stand of the Teutonic Order, my ass. We're going to do it. Oh wait. No, go away. Okay, let's send in our Kingy Wingy. He can have some fun. Sorry, Grand Duke. No, Grand, Ma Grand Master. Grand Master. Not the King. The Teutonic Order does not need a King. So I'm thinking for my next battle, I might do one in the Crusades. Let me know your thoughts on that in the comments below if you're still watching. If you've enjoyed this battle, of course. The Polish king is still alive. Reroute your charge. We will take out the king. Cut off the head of the snake and the rest of the snake will fall, I guess. What are you doing? No, 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 no. You can just stop. Oh, it's a chain route. It's a chain route. We've only gone and blummin' done it. How many casualties did we take? Oh, bloody hell, and he took 600. Huh. I honestly figured, with the amount of units that they had, they would stand for a lot longer. Because I gave them some decent units. Looks like... Oh, yeah, look at that. Absolute chain route. And Dabby Dozy! Heroic victory! <sighs> Surely I can take back my mantle of world's best Total War player, I guess? Yeah? No? Okay, so. Let's take a little look. So they had some decent sergeants here. They also had the Grand Banner of Krakow, which got absolute zero kills. Spear sergeant, spear militia. Okay, so they had some cac. Uh, they had some axemen, which should have gone through the line. Then they also had some Moldovan warriors, some armoured spearmen, they had armoured cavalry, noble swordsmen, ducal axemen. So they were pretty well equipped, and they were not a match for the Rambler. So, if you want to see more, let me know. Leave a like on the video if you haven't done already. And until next time, everyone, I bid you a very, very good day! Many thanks to Shack Attack and iSorrows Productions for being ridiculous Rambler supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too.